Good evening YouTube, my name's uh, Rob Pollard. This is a, a quick video to show off uh, uh, some new functionality that I've just put into Ancient Armies. Very quick video because there's not much to see. Um, the new functionality is that Ancient Armies now allows units to side slip and I'll show you what I mean now. We'll just zoom in on the Macedonian formations. Uh, let's uh, pop that into isometric. Zoom right in. Right. So what do I mean by side slipping? Well, if I give it a movement order, I uh, move forward or charge. Now, you can side slip the unit left or right. Now it's constrained. It can't go too far in terms of angle. So for this Macedonian formation, it can only go that far left or right. Or it can go straight ahead, of course. Now, um, real life units did this uh, to help them, uh, I, I guess, get uh, uh, the maximum amount of people in contact with the enemy. It also helps with various manoeuvres. Now, uh, Ancient Armies models quite a lot for side slipping. Um, generally speaking, it, it looks at the unit type. So, infantry, for instance, can side slip potentially more than, say, cavalry, and chariots can't side slip at all. It looks at units trading. Um, uh, the better trade unit is the more easily it can side slip. Um, conscript units can't side slip nation armies. Uh, it also looks at a unit's uh, density as well. Uh, the, the the more denser a formation, the smaller its ability to side slip. Uh, and finally, it also looks at the unit's speed. If a unit's doing a standard move as shown here, it'll be able to do its maximum amount of side slip. But if it's charging, uh, side slip uh, will be reduced. So what I'll do first, just going to um, switch these two units on the right here over to their eight deep formation, which is Pygnosis. <coughs> and what we'll do, move it to times 20 and uh, run that through. Right, so those two units are now in their much uh, denser formation. So, we can now do some comparisons. So, here, if I get um, this unit here to move forward with maximum right hand side slip, and I get the denser formation on the right to also move forward with, right, with uh, maximum right hand side slip, you can tell that that one can't side slip as much as the more open formation. You can even see it by the gap down here. There's quite a big gap there, but the gap's actually got uh, smaller there because this unit can't side slip as much. Now the, the, the story gets even worse uh, for, for charging. If I uh, order this unit here to charge, notice he can't side slip as much as this unit. There's not uh, too much in it though. Uh, whereas this unit here, if we try to get him to side slip whilst charging, he can't. Uh, simply put, the unit is so densely packed that uh, at that speed the men couldn't side slip not without uh, potentially damaging the formation. Now this kind of movement can look a bit weird when you see it moving, so let's uh, show you that. In fact, let's put it at times 10, uh, and let's uh, run through a few turns as you see it moving. So these two outer ones obviously charging, remember we're ringing at times 10. I see it's kind of moving diagonally along. And I have researched this, it is uh, uh, something a lot of trade formations used to do. Uh, uh, which is why I, I felt I had to go to ancient armies. It wasn't that simple to put in though because I have to take stuff into account. Like for instance, if I uh, wheel a unit, I then have to recalculate the side slip for that angle of wheel. So it's left or right. And then uh, of course you can wheel around another way, uh, say that way. And of course there could be some side slipping here as well. So it was a lot of work to get the calculations going and then maybe we'll get. So let's prove that and see if all that works. Let's run this at times 20 this time though, just make it a bit faster. Now, I haven't really tested this that much yet, uh, although I have looked at different formation uh, shapes and things that all seem to work. So let's see if he makes it around this obstacle course. Hopefully he should be able to. As I say, the units do look kind of weird when they're side slipping. Oh. Bit of collision there, it's caused a bit of damage. So that slowed the unit down. That one should be taking a lot more cohesion damage, <coughs> and that's what an outstanding bug I've got at the moment. Although he has slowed down, which is probably good. Here we go, just 
pick up speed now that he's left. As you see, following the orders perfectly, even though there's lots of side slipping going on. So yeah, I, I put this in in the hope that it was going to be like a sort of a, a five-minute job whilst I was fixing the other bugs. It actually ended up taking nearly all day. Uh, I just see it's a it's a piece of functionality I think needs to go in if this is to be a simulation, um, and I'm not too sure of many other games that do this. Although of course I, I could be wrong. Anyway, um, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, bye.